Belting out sexy rock is good for staying young. Susie Quattro dropped in today for this interview. Susie, thanks for coming in. You're welcome. Is the image changing? Uh, not really, no, it hasn't changed at all. I've, people that have known me through the years have said that I haven't changed whatsoever. Susie, how much is it image and how much is it you? Um, if it was anything but me, it wouldn't have been successful. I mean, I don't walk around in, in leathers at the supermarket, you know what I mean? But, um, you have to have that to keep the balance between the craziness and the sanity. But how much of it is me? I mean, I'm, I'm right down the middle, you know? I'm, I'm what you see. I'm talking to you now. I'm not on stage right now. I'm just being myself. Yeah. So. Image is pretty important in show business, though, isn't it? It helps to publicize. Yes. It helps people to remember. It is very important. I've never liked contrived images, though, for myself. So what do you want to do? More now, of the same? Mm. Um, yeah, more of the same. We're doing some movies now. I'm going to be doing a movie next April. And also, I've written a book called Confessions of a Survivor, which is about my life. Well, I, I read that... Uh, a couple of years back that it was coming out, and then I heard no more yeah, about it. Jackie Collins was going to ghost it. That's right. I didn't Did know. She? Jackie Collins was never going to ghost it. I refused to have anybody even put a finger down on the typewriter when there I was, was doing it. There was some publicity that you were Was there? No. Never. So what happened with that book? Did it... I sat on it because I finished it, and then I started thinking, this, this isn't, I don't want to publish this right now. So I waited, and I'm glad I waited because now it's going to be made into a movie. So that's why I didn't hear any more about yes, it. Yes, I decided to just wait. Is it a tell-all, reveal-all, a la it's, Britt Eklund? Uh, no, that's, those are boring. I mean, everybody's done the same stuff, really. Same <laughs> so stuff, different people. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, it's more or less the emotions of me um, or a girl in the business. The kind of childhood she had, how she became what she was, and why she got into the business, how it affected her, et cetera, et cetera. More that like kind the book that Liv Ullman wrote. Yes, more like that. And, and it's coming out as a movie? Yes, I'm, I'm getting it together now. I've got a few big people lined up. Um, I can't say any names now. There's a couple of people that I want to play the manager. I'm seeing which one takes it up. You're I'm going to play myself, that? obviously, except for as a little kid. I'd love to do it as a kid. It's a shame I can't go back in time. I'd love to say a few things to a few people along the way. Does it say much or is it, is it more a romantic insight into a person? It says a hell of a lot, really. Um, any little examples in my opinion a real movie about a woman in the business not just rock and roll but in the business hasn't been done yet because they either go too far one way or not too far the other way they always seem to hollywoodize it and i'm not going to do that i've written a true story and it's going to be exactly like what it is so if you could summarize that story how would you do that and how many words do I get? <laughs> 42. 42. Um, um, I, well, that is summarizing. I mean, it's a story of a, of a girl and her insecurities and her confidences and how she makes that work for her in life and the way she falls in and out of love, et cetera, et cetera, and how she manages to be tough and also be a woman at the same time, which is a very thin line to walk. So it talks about Susie Quattro's motivation. Basically. It delves into the emotions of it all. You see, nobody's ever done that yet. You know, it usually comes out as casting couch or something, doesn't it, whenever they, they tend to do well, movies like that. it's usually the highlights are exploited. Yeah, the or the drugs and the sex part of it, you know. And that's, um, that's a, that to me is the obvious part. I'm going for the more subtleties. You've played it pretty straight, though, haven't you? Definitely. But not all the way. <laughs> <laughs> not goody two shoes. You know, not not that way. It's just, um, I suppose, with my upbringing and everything, uh, I never strayed too far. If I strayed a little bit, then I bounce back again, which is good. That keeps you also straight, you know. How honest is the book? Oh, completely honest. Everything I'm, I do is honest. I 100%. mean, you can you can hate me if you like. I always say that to people, but I never lie. How does your husband feel about that? Oh, he likes it. Definitely. I think that's why he liked me in the first place. Yeah. And will that happen? Um, well, we're working on it now, very soon, I hope. Do you know how people even have Italian talk with their hands? <laughs> <laughs> you're always doing this. It helps a bit. It does, yeah. Look, well, your background, was that an Italian family? In Italian Detroit? and Hungarian. That's a mixture. All right, we talked about motivation. I also wanted to ask you, because I know in your early interviews, when you first hit the top, you talked very openly about having wanted to be a star. Now, presumably that's part of your life story? That's a huge part of it, yeah. And is it still the case? It's still the case, yeah. I mean, the, the worst thing in the world is to actually think that you've become a star. I mean, then what, what do you do then? 
so I just I'm always going towards there you see you talked about balancing the toughness with femininity yes how do you now balance this ambition with family and potential motherhood it all happens naturally you don't have to really balance that I mean you know how much time should be spent on private life and you know how much time should be spent on the other having babies though takes a lot of the choice away only takes a couple minutes <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it takes longer. Yes, I know. I'm only, I'm only joking. <laughs> so um, no plans there yet? Yeah, we're going to have a family, definitely. I don't know when. But um, that, that can all be done within context anyway. You know, you don't have to... You can bring your children into your world. You don't have to give it up for them. And after that? After that, I don't know. Just we'll keep look. going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep smiling. Susie, great to talk with you. See you again. Thank you. Susie Quattro. We'll be back with more.